What's going on guys? Today I'm going to share how you could play Minecraft Java Edition with a very low end device. The device that I'm using in this guide is a 6 year old Samsung S20 FE. It only has 6 gigabytes of RAM and it doesn't have a very high end chipset or processor but you can still get some pretty good performance out of it if you follow this video. You don't need to have sodium or anything like that to actually get this to work, but I am gonna be using fabric for the sake of showing you guys the FPS counter and all that fun stuff. But before we get into this, please hit that subscribe button because I would love to quit my day job and be able to share more content for all of you. Not that I'd really quit my day job anytime soon, but if I reach a thousand subscribers by the end of September of 2025, that would be super awesome and keep me even more motivated to do more videos, even though I find that it's fun. Now let's go to our main screen here. As you can see, I am using 1.2, 1.8, and I'm using Fabric. The next thing I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to download and install an FPS counter so that we can actually see the FPS on screen. So all this is going to do is just show this FPS on the screen so that we can see it. Okay, so first off, we're going to just jump right into this. Based off of the information I gave you guys from the very first video of Zaleth Launcher, using the mobile glues renderer, we are just going to use everything that I showed you in that guide, except for the fact that I am using the latest version of mobile glues, which is 1.2.7. I will link that in the description of this video. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, I have my FPS counter here. Yes, I just loaded into a world just to show you this here, guys. But you will also notice, even with my screen recorder, that I am having a lot of stuttering. And that is just because this device, again, is not the highest performing device. And also, I am currently on the default render distance, which is only two render distance. Some people might not like that, and I'm also using fast as the actual loader so that when the game loads in, these trees don't look that good. So, there are a few things we can do here, guys. The very first one is to actually exit the game and navigate back to the actual head part of Zaleth Launcher. So go into Zaleth Launcher, go to your settings on the top right hand side and scroll down to where it says resolution scale. You could start off by using this by setting it to about 50% and that'll basically lower your resolution to 1200 by 540 on most devices, but it depends on your device of course. This will change drastically. You could go all the way down to 25%, but of course that's going to make the game look a little bit bad now click on confirm the other thing that i told you guys to actually set up is enable sustained performance use alternate surface rendering is not really that beneficial it does increase the usage on your cpu and gpu the rest of this you need to make sure it's turned off don't turn it on and also of course make sure you're using the latest version of mobile glues so the resolution can be changed within the game as well, but I highly recommend that you don't do that. The other thing is that when you're using a screen recorder app like I am, you can run into slow performances as well because that is running on another thread in the background of your phone. So maybe don't use screen recorder apps unless you have a decent device because that can slow down the performance as well. Also, I do have a video about sodium if you want to use sodium, but I am trying to avoid that here today because I just want to show you how you can get better performance without using any mods like sodium or Optifine. So let's jump back in and let's see the increase in values 
based off of the resolution scale that I just set it to there. Now, again, I said you can change this by going to your settings button and you can change it in this little hot bar. Sometimes if you change the resolution scaler, it crashes out Zaleth Launcher. Depends on the device and it just depends on how performant your phone is. Also, take note that some phones also have different performance modes like Poco X7 Pro, for example. You can change that in your game hub. So I'm going to go into single player, click on play selected world. And when we get into here, we should see a little bit of an increase in performance based off of the FPS counter on the top left hand side. Now I am using, I think, the default performance setting and the video setting for the max frame rate to be unlimited. So let's check out to see what we're getting. 247 FPS is the max here, guys, and that is still at two render distance. And this still plays pretty decently well because it is set to that. And what this basically means for your sake is that 50% is probably the best resolution. I know it might not look the best, you know, performance or actual visual wise or anything like that, but you can still play the game at 50% and I think it looks okay to me. Now, how do we get this even better? Go to your options, go to your video settings, you can change your biome blend. Changing this to 3x3 three three makes it a lot faster, and you can even turn it off if you want to so that your biomes don't blend together. That will change a lot. And I guess we're actually at 4 render distance. Let's go back and check out the performance. So we have 292 while we're in this cave. I'm going to die on purpose so that we can actually get out of here and go back to the top because I did not mean to fall down. All right, so I'm back out here again here, guys. This is where we spawned, and I am getting, like I said, about 300 FPS. So this technically means what? This means that I could go to my video settings. I could probably crank out about eight chunks, and I could change my resolution for my simulation distance to about 10 chunks. Now let's see how much that drops. It's going to take a few seconds here, guys, for it to load in, for the actual chunks to load in and everything I mean, but it does load in. And what does this mean? Well, we're still getting above 100 FPS on the top left-hand side. And honestly, with a phone like this, what I would do with this now, guys, is I would change this max frame rate to about 60 FPS, which is perfectly fine. Now, why I would do that is so that the frame rate will always stay consistent and the same. So what else I could do here, guys, is I could probably change my graphics to fast, or I could change certain things like my V-Sync to be on so that it'll sync in the background, and I could change my clouds to fast or off and change this to fancy. And that does help with showing how the graphics look on our display. So as you can see here, now my trees look good. I'm at 50% resolution and I'm also averaging out about 100 FPS on the top right -hand side. Now this FPS counter that you see here guys is actually wrong because I have set this so that it doesn't, it doesn't max out past 60 FPS. So what you could do is go to save and quit and then just be basically reload the game. So go quick game go back into Zaleth Launcher, and then launch it again so that it'll actually stabilize at 60 FPS. There's a whole bunch of other settings you could change here, guys, to get a better performance. And like I said, if you want to try out Sodium, you can definitely do so by watching my Sodium guide. Now again, this is just all based off of me tinkering around. This is the Samsung S20 FE. It's a low performing device that has six gigabytes of RAM and I don't have any performance modes on. So if you found this helpful, again, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with other people that want to learn how to use Daleth Launcher, which I think is an amazing launcher for many, many reasons to play Java Minecraft on your own.